So the intro for Touchdown Boy is going to sound like this then. <laughs> Okay, so basically uh, it's just some power chords, alright? And uh, what we're going to be doing then is your index finger onto fret 7, string 5, ring finger, fret 9, string 4, little finger, fret 9, string number 3. Uh, we're going to play this 7 times in total. We're going to play it once and then pause and play it down and up 6 more times. So, do 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 do. Okay, and then from there, we're going to play it 3 more times and then slide down. One fret to six and eight. Okay, so okay, do 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 do. All right, and then in that position, we're just going to play that twice, and then go back up a fret and then up a string. Okay, so okay, do do do. So in total, all right. That's the first two parts. From there, then if you look at the uh, next part. We're just going to play this seven times again in that uh, you know position we're at the moment. So again, that's your index finger at fret seven, string six. Your ring finger, fret nine, string five. Little finger, fret nine, string number four. So okay. Then from there, go down two frets to five and seven three times. Okay. Down to four and six. Play once. Pause a second and twice more. So that last part. Okay, so Okay, so the first part in total then is like this. Okay, from there then all we're going to do, if you know, if you look at the tab, we're going to start off this time with our index finger at fret two, so you're covering uh, strings four and five, but don't cover string six. I'm going to play all three strings um, seven times again, so. Okay, do da 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 da. Okay, and then all we're going to do then, if you look at the next parts, is exactly the same. So, all the way up, back up to seven and nine, and it's the. Okay, so the only difference the second time, you know, is that instead of starting at fret seven and nine, we're starting way down at fret two. And that entire pattern and the entire shape is like this. Okay, so that's the intro. Next up, we've got the main riff. It's going to sound like this then. Okay, like that. And just keep playing that a few times. So it's a mixture of power chords, some single notes, and some palm muting. Okay. So to start off with, then put your index finger on fret two, on string five, and uh, make sure you're not touching string six, though, because we're going to play that open. And we're going to play it twice, but the second time we're going to palm mute it. So that's taking your side of your hand here and laying that down around there somewhere, so it's kind of really heavy. So play it twice, and the second time mute it. So. Okay, so dear dum. Then from there, it's going to be index finger, fret six, string four, middle finger, fret seven, middle finger, fret nine. And that pattern is going to be played throughout this riff, okay? So the very first part. Okay, that's the first part. From there then, index finger, fret nine, string six, and your ring finger, fret eleven, string five. And it's going to be the same pattern, so you're playing it twice, the second time muted. Okay, and then do the part again. So, so far. Okay, from there then, index finger onto fret 7, string 6, ring finger, fret 9, string number 5. Okay, and the final time, uh, it's going to be your index finger on fret 5, string 6, ring finger, fret 7, string 5. Okay, so it starts off the same. And this time we're going to do the six, seven, nine, and then go seven, six. So, okay, okay, that's the last part. So the main riff then in total again is like this then. Okay, that's the main riff there then. So the pre-verse is going to sound like this then. Okay, 
So uh, again, you know, some power chords and some single notes. It's going to start off with your index finger on fret 2, string number 6, string number 5. We're going to play that and string 6 open 8 times. Okay, and then your little finger onto fret 9, string 4, 3 times. Then your middle finger onto fret 7, 3 times. And your index finger onto fret 6, twice. So, okay, and that's kind of like the basic pattern we're going to be doing throughout this, okay? So the next shape then, uh, the next power chord is your index finger on fret 7, string 6. And your ring finger fret 9, string number 5. Okay, so eight times, and then do the, you know, do that part again, okay? So, so far. Okay, and then if you look at the tab now, then it's uh, changed again for us. We're going to start off with your index finger on fret 5, string 6, and your ring finger on fret 7, string number 5. Okay, so eight times again. This time, the little pattern's going to be a little bit different. We're going to go um, three times on fret six, then fret seven, and back to fret six twice. So, okay. Okay, and then all we're going to do now is go back to that first shape with your index finger on fret two, string five, and then finish off with the... Okay, so right from the start then of the pre-verse, I'll sound like this. Okay, that's a pre-verse. Pre-verse B is going to be some single notes and a lot of palm muted. It's going to sound like this then. Okay. So that's uh, pre-verse B and C there. Pre-verse B is going to be the kind of palm muted part. And uh, what we're going to be doing is put, starting with your index finger on fret 7, string number 5, and your ring finger on fret 9, string number 4. And uh, the pattern is going to be, every time we play string 5, it's going to be palm muted. Every time we play string 4, it's not palm muted, okay? And the pattern is going to be like this. <laughs> Okay, so dun, 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 dun. so uh, all we're doing there then, uh, we're going to play string five, four, five, five, four, five, four, five. Okay, so it's okay. So that's that pattern. From there then, all you're going to do is take off your ring finger, lay your index finger down on fret seven. So you're covering strings 4 and 5. And this time the pattern's going to be a little bit different. We're still going to be palm muting on, fret fa on string 5 and not palm muting on string 4. But the picking pattern is like this. Okay. So that's string 4, then 5, 5, and then the same again. So 4, 5, 5, and then 4, 5. So. Okay. So right from the start then. Okay, well, that's a pre-verse B. Just play through uh, three times there. Then after that, that's when it goes into the okay power chord, and it's basic uh, power chord again. It's going to be your uh, index finger on fret seven, string six. Your ring finger fret nine, string number five, and sixteen times. So. Okay, so that's pre-verse A, B, and C. Obviously, you know, you just put it all together. Uh, that'll give you the entire pre-verse, okay? So the main chorus, um, the part where Tom sings just the right one by one as they walk right through the door, it's going to sound like this then. <laughs> So that's simple power chords once again, just three different power chord shapes. And it's always going to be the same strumming pattern. In each power chord shape, we're going to play it 16 times, okay? So your index finger to start with on fret 2. So you're covering strings 4 and 5, but make sure you 
finger's not touching string six because we want to play that open. So 16 times. Okay, from there then, index finger up to fret seven, string number six, ring finger, fret nine, string five, and your little finger, fret nine, string four. Okay, if you look at the tab now, it's updated. All we're going to do, slide that down two frets to frets five and seven. Going to play that 16 times. And to finish off, it's going to be index finger back onto that first shape of fret two and 16 times. Okay, so that last part. Okay, so that's a chorus there. Then you know, really simple. Okay. Right, so about halfway through the song, you get like a bit of an interlude where um, Mark and Tom just sort of, you know, start talking a little bit. And I think there's just one guitar note, and it's going to be your index finger on fret two, string number five. You're going to play that as well as string six open and just let it ring out. So, okay, so that's a, you know, it's really simple again. That's the interlude, okay. Now, like I say, that's where Tom and Mark just kind of see, uh, talk to each other a little bit. And then after that, you're going to go back into the main riff, the, uh, you know, back into that part. After that's the chorus, then just before the song ends, it goes into the intro, the... You know, back into that part. And then finally, the song ends with your index finger on fret two. So you're covering strings four and five. Again, make sure you don't cover string six because we want to leave that open. Gonna play those top three strings and let it ring out. Okay, and that's the entire song there then for uh, Blink 182's Touchdown Boy. So thanks again for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next lesson.